gallant ship from the fair and the favouring breeze. And it's all hands on deck. The students have just 30 minutes until their boats enter the water for the first time. And tensions are high. I'm a little bit nervous because you've made something which is very beautiful, but I don't really, I haven't sailed much before. I've done some work on water. So how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, pleased, confident. She looks, uh, she looks beautiful. Um, I think we've got everything right. I'm a little tentative, I'd say. Um, just because I built it and I'm not famous for good engineering. We're going to take the boats one by one down to the cob and we will, as I say, be launching them. We will not be um, putting the sails up um, and that's a shame, uh, but the wind is actually pretty strong. Finally, the moment of truth. This is the last boat going in now, and so far, so good, but it is incredibly windy, and the boats are not allowed out of the harbour, and no sails are allowed to be put up. I've covered something like 20 launches, and I think this is one of only two where we've not been able to put the sails up and go out of the harbour. But the wind didn't stop the champagne from flowing. I think given the conditions, we couldn't have asked for more. It was just, it's been, it's been a fantastic experience and sitting in there for the first time. Really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, we've still got dry feet, so we're happy. <laughs> Many of these students had little or no experience of boat building before starting this course nine months ago. And with a skills shortage in the trade, the certainty of a job seems a likely reward. Annabelle, BBC Spotlight, Lyme Regis.